Okay. I'm really excited today as we have in the studio with us the Honorable Mr. David Tamulevich. Did I say that correctly? Tamulevich. Close enough, right? Yeah, yeah. And we're going to deep dive into Caro Novelty Marvels. And, Yahoo! Um, who better to have than David, who's uh, probably has one of the world's largest Caro collections. Yes. Um, because you've sniffed around and uh, yeah, I've did done, some I've le done legal digging. Lot. Yeah, legal digging and back in the days when you could do it and uh, examined a lot of the marbles. Uh, you know, when, when, they, when, the fact, when they discovered the marbles there, the building had collapsed. This is in, in like, yeah, I think the winter of 95. And, um, and they were bulldozing it out, and they dug up marbles in the ground. Mm -hmm. And um, so Sid, who lived right across the street and had big chunks of color in his garden for years, he came over and dug for a couple of days and nights, had 10, wow. ten five-gallon buckets right. that went to a, an uh, antique dealer in Harris, Harrisville, which is next to Cairo, and I got to go through, inspect nine of those buckets. Oh, I mean, that's, you know, I mean, I, I probably dug 60, 70,000 marbles, and then I went through all of those. And John Ives, who is the other big digger that I, I, I know, a good friend, um, he let me see all, all of the ones he did. So I've probably seen 150,000 or, or, or more caros. caros. That's amazing. Because when. It, there was like a 35-foot flood that came down the river there, and Caro had all of these marbles ready to uh, ship. ship. Okay. And, and they, were, they had, you know, the big cardboard bins, you know, heavy-duty okay. cardboard bins, and the flood hit them. The bins wow. broke blew apart, out. blew out, and the marbles all washed wow. down into and washed kind of down. Um, and a, yeah. Downhill. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and then um, they tried to get going. I don't know if they ever really got re-going, but it, they closed in 52. I know there was a lumber business in there. Uh, the, the marbles all got covered up in the, because there was so little money to be made in marbles mm. that they couldn't afford to pay someone to wash them and, and resort them. So it was, it was easier to, just to, to leave them in the ground. Right, and move on and, right. and make others. So there were, there were all these, mar all these marbles, and there, there, were, there were mistakes. They are like this, this crow, which is mm -hmm. you know, a big double ingot misshapen. Um, but there were also all of these marbles that they were ready to ship wow. that just got, <laughs> got mm. buried. Got yeah, buried. yeah. And, and it was, um, you know, I think, 95 when it was first realized or remembered that they were there. And Danny Bircher, who owned the place, um, was kind enough to uh, allow me to go in and dig. And, and, uh, That's terrific. And me and others. And, and, Thank God. Yeah. Because uh, now you have, we have a reference, you know, we have, we have some documents, we have Doug Marbles. What's, well, you know, what's better than <laughs> Doug Marbles? I you mean, know, it is. It doesn't it get is, any better. It's, it is <laughs> like a, a, a treasure hunt. I mean, you're, you're just like a little kid. You, you turn up something and it's like, and you never know what you're going to get. And my goal when I got in, into Marbles, I had some uh, from my dad, who, uh, and my dad, he had a bureau drawer full of marbles when he went away to the Second World War, and he came back, and they were all gone. Because of you? No. Uh, no. No. <laughs> it this, wasn't this the... was before me. Yeah. You know, so, uh, and, oh. and, and his aunt, who, who he mm -hmm. lived with, probably threw him out. Yeah. Um, but um, but he, he did give me a couple that I thought were pretty, and I was trying to um, identify them. You know, when, yeah. once I found out, oh, there are marble factories, and, and then um, I, I went to a marble show, and uh, some of the big marble guys were kind of dismissive about them, and I, and I, which, which bothered me, because I thought, you know, you may not be able to make money off these. You may not right. know what they are, but, but these are, this these is are part of American marbles. history here. So, yeah. um, so and then um, thanks to Dennis Webb, Greenberg's Guide to Marbles, wonderful man, and uh, that is, is the, um, was the was the Bible at that time, uh -huh. um, found out that there were marbles in the ground at these factories. And I figured, 
Well, the way to figure out what a factory made is to, is to be able to dig them up. Yeah. Because at the time, the only Carol marbles that had been identified, there was a little picture in Dennis Webb's book of, I, I don't know, a, do, a dozen of them. And it's like nobody knew right. what these marbles were. It's just a um, big mystery company. It is. Uh, I, very obscure and no, not many records about it. You know, it's not no, like al almost can... nothing. The boxes, right. um, they're boxes with a, a, a sphinx and a pyramid on them called pyramid playtime marbles. They're almost non-existent. I hear that there, there were, um, I think this was the, the transition time between a mesh bag and a plastic bag. Uh, and I think and they may have even been both, though some folks uh, last year I talked to had found some plastic bags there, mm -hmm. and um, and overnight they disappeared because people oh, go wow. in and, and, and How about that? raid in there. So right, so, wow. So, well, and now they were right down the road from Heaton, and they were yes. uh, producing marbles in, in the same time frame. Right, Oris right. Hanlon mm -hmm. and Bill Heaton were uh, cousins, I think. And they started heat and agate, and then they had some kind of disagreement. So, um, you know, Bill Heaton stayed with the Heaton plant. Oris Hanlon went down half a mile down uh, down the river and started um, Caronavi with one one machine, and uh, and and people said, you know, when they both factories were running, that's what they hear all all night long. Wow, that, between uh, if you're uh, living between them. That's what you're going to hear. You're yeah. going to see the smoke. Right? Yeah, and the town was between them. The, the, mm. the heat and agate was on the north side of town. Uh, if my direction are right. And, and Carol Novelty was on the, on the south side. But uh, they could hear the plants running all night, which I, I, I hear them in my dreams. I love, <laughs> I love, I love, I love that sound of, of the marble machine. You know, when we started the Marble Show in, in Carroll, Dean Six is mm -hmm. a glass historian, lived in town, had um, Marshall's Hardware. It was a beautiful hardware company. And his mom or grandmother worked at Carroll. And so um, Dean and I, and then uh, Michael Johnson and Susie Metzler from California, um, became we became friends and, and, and did a lot of marble research together that that um, you know as was put into into um, their, the big book, um, but we all arranged to do this marble show in Carroll because we wanted to we wanted to celebrate the the people who had made marbles in all the factories, especially there in town. Get people to come out and say, you know, maybe there were photos, maybe there were there were you know, they had marbles, original packaging articles. And so we ran that uh, for 20 years in Carroll. And there uh -huh. were no other marble associations. The West Virginia mm -hmm. Marble Association started. We got, we got you know, Lewis Moore out and, and David oh, Hanlon, wow. oh, cool. whose, whose father was uh, Oris. Um, yeah. Who ran it. We so you, got, you were able to draw, draw some of the uh, uh, first generation marble makers? And, oh, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. That's amazing. Yes. Uh, Davis and, and um, Paul wow. Cox, who's... Uh, whose father was Ravenswood, mm -hmm. and then Mary Jane Wilson, you know, was... A lot of the old-time marble makers came up. Blaine Lemon came out, mm. which it was, it, was, uh, it was to celebrate their lives. You mm -hmm. know, um, yes, Allie's grandson, uh, you know, somebody from um, Alox, Alox, his granddaughter came out, brought original packaging and marbles, and did a whole display. Oh, that's amazing. I mean, it, was, it was great. And, and the marble factories, uh, you know, um, J. Bo, Dave McCullough was always supportive, giving, giving us marbles every year. Oh, that's a, that's uh, marble King, yeah. um, it, was, it really was uh, a celebration. So anyways, we started the show. Um, there were two traditional Carol marbles. And this, this is one of them. It's called a snake, you know, for, for the kind of... For the, pa uh, for the, for the for pattern, pattern. For the pattern. And, um, and, and then there were the cloudy days, which were, were these. And these, those were as traditional a name as we had for any of the 
any right. of, any of the marbles. Going back to the uh, these are factory names or maybe company nicknames. We don't know. We don't know for Na sure, but right, they're old na old names. Older names, yes. Older names. And the rest of these that are named, I named just because I, w I wanted to you know identify them. And these are almost pass as game marbles. These, the red ones. Mm -hmm. They, Carol Novelty made a, 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 a board game called Trap the Fox. And it was a marble game. And I think there was just one, they had one red one in there and the others were, were white, I think. But I know it had a red marble in it. Never and that's been able possibly to, related to that game. Right. Made, Never, for, made for that game, right. possibly. Never have been able to find one of those games. There Trap was, the Fox. Trap the Fox. It's about... Yay big. Uh, mm. Dean Six had a uh, uh, had one that he found in the factory before it collapsed. Wow. And he, he actually, Super rare. He's, yeah, it's like none known to exist except for that that box. And it was flattened. It didn't have marbles. But it, mm. And he, he also found a, uh, a flattened um, pyramid playtime marble box you know, without the marbles, but you know, the original box. But... Uh, Yes. Trap the fox. Trap the fox. Well, David, thank you so much for coming all the way from Michigan, right to the. Thank you. I'm so to the glad, studio here glad in to be here. It's sacred ground. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a really a, a blast. I appreciate you uh, sharing your knowledge. Well, I love you know. Again, I'm passionate about uh, about it, especially Carol novelty. And you know, anybody has any questions, you know, let me know. You know that. Nobody knows everything about these marbles. They're always new. They're always new ones, and, and we're always learning new things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's in constant motion. Yes. Yeah. So thank you so much uh, for watching, and David, thanks again. All right. All right. Thanks, All right. Stephen.